Hey guys, this is Ricardo back here on the Watch With Us channel. And in for review this week, we have the Oris Call Brochure Caliber 401 Limited Edition. Now this watch was released earlier this year in January, and it's the third watch in the line of Call Brochure watches coming from Oris. Now, the first one was a three-hander with date that was released in 2016. They then gave us a chronograph in 2018. And now they're giving us a small second model using their new Caliber 401. Now, a little bit of history on Caliber Shore. He was a master Navy diver and he was tasked with recovering certain things from the ocean floor. So ammunition, one of the biggest things he actually had to recover, one of the most important things he had to recover was a nuclear warhead. And it was when he was trying to recover this during that process that he actually lost one of his legs due to an accident on the ship's deck. After losing his leg, many people would have assumed that he would have ended his career as a Navy diver. But he actually decided to persevere through this trying time and continue to become, continue to be a Navy diver. He had to be retested. He had to go through these long processes to make sure that he could handle that one weight of that large suit, which added to that is the extra weight that the body has to handle at such deep depths. And he was able to persevere and actually continued being a Navy diver. And it's that perseverance that Oris is trying to commemorate with these watches. And let's see how they do with this latest one in the lineup for Carl Brashore. Now, this version of the watch, this new Carl Brashore Small Seconds is a mostly bronze case, which with stainless steel on the case back. The watch comes in at 40 millimeters. However, I have to say it wears like a 38 on my seven and a half inch wrist. The watch is 13 millimeters thick. Two of those millimeters are going towards that beautiful dome sapphire crystal. You get a 49 millimeter lug to lug. The case gives you 100 meters of water resistance with this screwed down signed crown. If we go to the strap, the strap was actually made in partnership with Erica's original straps, which are these elastic feeling straps. Um, however, they're very comfortable on the wrist. And this strap here is a beautiful deep blue, deep navy blue color with a nice bit of goldish trim going down the center. And the strap is 20 millimeters, thus the lug width on this watch is 20 millimeters. Inside, of course, we talk about the Caliber 401, which gives you five days of power reserve. And you, of course, get that 10 years warranty on that movement. Now, if we go to the case back of this watch, we can see that the case back is not bronze. It is, of course, stainless steel. You have this beautiful engraving here on the back of the watch, which shows that divers, that old school style divers helmet. Oris Call Brochure, Caliber 401, limited edition, numbered. This is a limited edition of 2,000 pieces. Here we have number 102. If you go back to the strap here, you see that that bronze continues here to the hardware, which is signed Oris. And you have that serial number here on the back. If we go back to the case, you'll see that this case is, as I stated, mostly bronze. And it's interesting because Oris, I don't know, there's just something about the bronze that Oris is, Oris is using 
it's got to be a special formula because it has this beautiful, dark, deep, rich patina on it. You can see here on the bezel, it's mostly matte. However, you have this nice polished trim. Going to the dial, we have Oris at 12. At 6, we have water resistant 10 bar, 100 meters, 5 days, Swiss made. Each one of these indices here is loomed, as well as the stick hands and the small second hand, and finally the loom pip on the bezel. The dial itself is continuing with that deep navy blue color. Here we have this beautiful lacquered blue. If you go to the internals, let's unscrew this crown. Once unscrewed in your first position, your zero position, some would say, is winding. If you move that out to your first position, here you actually have a ghost position. This would normally have been the date, but that has no function here. And if you pull it out to the second position, now you have the time position and you could set your time. And let's go ahead, pop that back in. And that covers it in regards to specs for this watch. Now, overall, I've had the watch for about two or three weeks. And I have to say that there are, of course, some positives and some negatives on this watch. If I have to start with the negatives, I have to say the action on the bezel, I wish it was a little a little tighter. Um, there, it gets a little loose there. I'd have to say you get 120 clicks on the bezel and I'd have to say there's kind of a one click side to side um, play on the bezel. I wish it was tighter. Um, another thing I'm not happy about is the ghost position on the movement. Um, I understand it's a new movement for Oris. Of course, a lot of R&D goes into that. But when you're at this kind of price point and you're buying into these, these now manufacturer movements, I mean, it's great to have five day power reserves. It's great with the 10 year warranty, but you know, I, I wish they had given us the, the straight winding and straight to time, um, especially at this price point. Um, however, even with those two things, there are a lot of positives here. Um, one, I think the stone sapphire crystal on this is absolutely beautiful. The distortion it causes on the dial is just something that's, I mean, it's a beautiful thing to capture in pictures. It really looks amazing. Uh, I love that blue lacquer on the dial, the loom. Um, there's, there's different strengths of loom, different kind of almost colors of loom here on this watch between the hands and the actual dial loom. I think it's a beautiful feature, beautiful function. Um, as I said, I love the movement um, in terms of just the positives of the movement in terms of the five day power reserve. Um, I'm, you guys know, I'm, I'm definitely a, a, a date guy, but uh, still really love this watch. Um, and finally, that bronze. It, it, it's hard to describe, guys. It, it, there's, there's not all bronze is the same. Not all bronze is, is made the same. And there's just something about Oris's formula when it comes to the bronze that just makes the watch patina beautifully. It, it, it looks nice. It has this beautiful dark color. Um, and I mean, if you decide to, to go ahead and purchase this watch, I think that's something that you'll really love and you'll enjoy for years to come. Now, price of admission on this watch, $4,200. And I've read a couple comments in, in the, on the internet and I definitely I know people are not happy about that price, but I feel like early on, this early price of admission, um, but before Oris can really ramp up uh, their their production of these new movements. I think this is what you're going to see. Anytime they're going to put this movement in one of their watches, especially in this early period, 
the prices are going to be a little bit high. Um, but I mean, there's just, there's some nice benefits to that. I mean, you, you, you're getting five days of power reserve. I, I mean, it, most, I'd say average now, a lot of brands are trying to aim for in the 70 range. And this thing comes in at almost 120 hours. I mean, it's, it's become almost a set it and forget it kind of watch. And that's a nice benefit to have. Um, but overall, I think if you like the previous Carl Bashir models, I think this one is going to speak to you as well. It has a nice, simple, classic aesthetic. Um, there's just something about it. it. It just, it draws you in. It's a really nice, beautiful watch. Um, here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. You could see how it wears, as I stated earlier, it wears smaller than the 40 millimeters that it says it is. I mean, I spent weeks thinking that this was 38 millimeters before I really digged into the review and I see it's 40 millimeters and I still can't believe it's 40 millimeters. It just wears really well on the wrist, even with that long 49 millimeter lug to lug. Um, but overall, I think you'll be happy if you decide to go and, and purchase this watch. Um, but that completes it for our review this week, guys. If you have any questions, any comments, drop them in the comment section below. Definitely subscribe to the channel. We're trying to do one review a week. We have some really interesting brands coming in um, and really some interesting watches coming in that we really want you guys to see. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Watch with us channel on Instagram. We're trying to post on a daily basis some beautiful pictures of some of the watches that we have coming into the channel. But that completes it for this week's review, guys. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you guys next week.